to Genfanad. Today, combat. We're gonna take our chipped short sword and first chain body. We'll fight some chickens, farm rabbits, stuff of that level. Not quite to a point where we could fight anything more difficult than that. Our combat stats are literally one across the board. We got attack, strength, and defense for our melee. We can switch it up with this setting for controlled, accurate, aggressive, or defensive. We'll just go controlled for now. Another thing you might, might want to consider is upgrading our weapons with some of our scrap metal. We haven't found the modified tin, worn out chain legs, or wagon wheel cap, which would also be our basic level equipment. Because much like everything else here, bronze seems to be not the whole one. So we might want to do that. Raise the stats at least somewhat for all of our gear. And we could definitely use all the help we can get. It might be worth heading around to the various scrap sites we know of. Try to get more of that. Could be an idea. For now, let's see how we fare against some chickens. We've got butchery nearby-ish. Or rabbits. Let's see if we can find closer chickens. There's some chickens over here. Maybe the scrap metal. Take that. Is there? That's just an egg. It looks like we need a pretty sizable chunk of scrap metal for all the upgrades. So, picking it up when we see it. Probably worthwhile. Let's see here. They're doing range against the chickens. Oh, they're destroying them. Let's see if this is a good spot. We also need to worry about the butchery table being a fair distance away here. We brought some food so we can heal up. Chickens are low level here. Even one hit that one. Very good. We're getting some amounts of XP here. It's gonna be three experience in vitality, attack, strength, and defense per chicken. Then three high XP per bone. Looks like we might really not need too much food. Ah, we're taking some damage. Would definitely also help if we had the full available set of armor. And the low quality chicken healed one there. Well, that's not great. I'm trying for a full inventory of chicken. Of departed chicken. Spawn rates are definitely not too high. We're, we're literally level one, and we are clearing out the entire chicken coop. Let's have a regular potato. Heals one. Definitely could use better food here, too. Would be an option. We're doing decent, though. 
All things considered. Almost level two. Oh boy. Don't know if we're really gonna be able to do a whole inventory here. Since now we're out of food. In theory, we will have more food once we get more chicken. At least that's the idea. Yeah, they can hit twos. Hey, there's all two. All the stats. Amazing. We probably don't want to risk it too hard. Depending on what the death mechanics are, could get concerning. Maybe they have three hit points. Hard to tell exactly. Because they're already dead. Yeah. Alright. Oh, there's one more chicken here. Definitely seem to be able to hit more than one at least. That's nice. That scrap metal is not respawned yet. Be interesting to see what the respawn on that is. Be useful information to have, at least. Alright, I think we're done. Our hit points are going dangerously low. And we're dead. Okay. My goodness. One chicken. One chicken and we're dead. That is, that is quite the variable amount of health lost. Most we can do with only a little bit of health, and then one chicken does half our entire life. Brutal. Yeah, so what else are here, fighting chickens? Take my short sword first here. Not very many spawns. Not very many spawns. Oh, we oh, pick up everything very quickly. I'll take that. Alright. And we spawned back in with half health. So, that's something. We didn't really need this egg. I dropped that. Also... Doesn't seem like we can craft the lowest level versions of things, which is not ideal. We'd love to be able to smith this. As far as I can tell, that just goes to bronze. See if there's any... I mean, shops would need us to have actual things to sell to be able to do anything with. Butchery. Getting mostly feathers, unfortunately. And there's some sinew. Yeah, getting, getting some raw chicken would be great here. There's there's a low low quality raw chicken. Butchery's six already. So doing a very bad job getting chicken out of these chickens. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna need much higher butchery here. We just got two chickens out of that chicken, somehow. I'm sure that's fine. Right. See what we can do with these chickens, then. Got lots of feathers, though. A soft feather. From cooking, we could probably just cook the chicken. But there is the chicken and potato dish. A lot of it comes down to... Is it worth making the higher little things? I think another. Or just respawn there. Pick that up. It's not like we are going to be able to particularly make use of very high healing food either. Since we're pretty much either 
healed up enough by just a few hit points worth of stuff. Or we die immediately. <laughs> so. Let's oh, scrap it. Let's see if there's anything we can do with raw chicken at the prep table. It would just be the cooked potatoes and cooked chicken. We're making that dish. I think that also needs plates. I'd have to make some plates. Might just be better off with potatoes. Raw mystery hot dog out of beef, rat, pork, fat, and chicken. Wow. That's very high level. A mystery hot dog. The mystery is that it is literally everything, apparently. Interesting to see that chicken is used in a much higher quality recipe. That was literally level 30. That is very high, comparatively. XP rates here are not amazing, that's for sure. Well, let us start by just cooking up this chicken. Or burning it terribly, also. Oh boy. An entire inventory worth. Oh, a nearly an entire inventory worth of food. And we end up with. An, oh, an entire inventory worth of departed chickens. We end up with one low quality and one regular quality chicken. Oh boy. I think potatoes are gonna be more sustainable here. Aye, aye, aye. Right, let's see if this recipe here. Yeah, chicken and vegetable medley. Requires a roast vegetable medley, a cooked chicken, and an empty plate. So maybe the potato and chicken dish was only in the tutorial area. Get some farm rabbits here. I mean, maybe one farm rabbit. How much everything we have going for us here. See, they're an onion field. Not quite. They got more health, too. And they give more XP. Ah, they drop carrots. Okay. And a blue bug. That color can't be natural. Looks like we're not getting rabbit meat. They do drop carrots. We can pick carrots, so it's not like this is our only source of carrot. And I also dropped a raw potato. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure what a blue bug is for. Yeah. 4 HP on the rabbits here. And another blue bug. You simply have more of a drop table than the chickens did. I guess the chicken drop table is more in the butchery section. All things considered. Let's eat a low quality chicken. Feels one. Regular. Feels two. Fight a few more rabbits, I guess. We can't eat the raw carrots, unfortunately. Alright, I think this is gonna be the last rabbit we fight. Oh boy. Can we prep with any of this? Nope. Beef and vegetables with the carrots. Not even close to that. And bug looks like new. No. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go grab some potatoes. Preferably not low quality. And cook those up. We need some. Oh, I guess we can't grab the potatoes. We don't have our harvesting tool with us. Never mind. Never mind that. See 
if any of these shops here sell any of the beginner set. So you can definitely use more armor here, clearly. There's a low quality blue bug. Sells for three. I'll take some coins. Wood, slivers, rat hide, high quality watermelons. Probably need to go to the armor shop. Probably a better idea. Low quality ROM stuff. Very expensive. Can't afford it. Can't use it either, so doesn't matter that I can't afford it. Here we have. Aha! Worn out chain legs, modified tin, and wheel caps. Each for six. Alright, we're gonna want these. Six each, so that's gonna be 18 total. And then we can probably use pretty much all of our scrap metal to upgrade all that. I do still wanna get more butchery experience from the chickens, so I'll probably have to bring the sickle down too in order to Harvest the potatoes to actually have food. There's another scrap metal. What if I want low quality carrots? Got those. We're getting lots of sinew and feathers. Whatever those are gonna be for. There's some sheep. Very woolly. There's also low level slimes we could fight. How much scrap metal we end up with in total here? Looks like there's only a few upgrades. And we're gonna be having these items for quite some time. Assuming that bronze is all gonna be level 11 across the board. We're only just at level 2 here. So we need 18 coins, all our scrap metal. We have just about enough. 18 coins, all the scrap metal, and our bent sickle. I'm gonna put the feathers and sinew away for now. But that looks like that should be good. I need to be on the lookout for where the scrap metal spawns are so you can pick all that up. At least until. We have full upgrades on the beginner gear. It's entirely possible that scrap metal won't be the upgrade material for higher level stuff. We're just starting with what we have here. A decent chunk here. I think the first that we'll do is the sword, just because if we kill things faster, they don't have time to hit us. That just makes sense. We'll see how best we can get this going. So I'll take the chain, legs, tin, and the wheel cap. Perfect. Now we're equipped. Look at us go. Amazing. Now we will head to the upgrade, Gen. What kind of tools for fighting murder hobo, right here. Enthusiastic. Okay. So we have the chipped short sword. We can only get that to plus one. Er, uh, nope, it's down here. These are ones we can do. So that's two. I'll take that. 
tray complete. And chip's sword, part one. Then we can upgrade to two with another three. I'll take that. Beautiful. And we have nine more left. We could make... Chain body upgrade. Then get some more respawns and upgrade the legs. Or not. Oh, we had 10 left. Actually, that's perfect. And I'll upgrade the worn out chain legs. So if we check here, it needs 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 19, 21, 24 more to be able to upgrade everything here to full. Feeling better about this thing. Look how, look how much more armor we probably have. Equipment stats. Still apparently not a thing. That's alright. Alright. So, we can head back to chickens now, but we still do need a little bit of food. So we're going to grab some potatoes. It's probably just the best move forward. Getting here in E3 spot, just for ease. We got our bet sickle. I think we'll still drop any low quality potatoes. Because those only, they, they only seem to completely disintegrate, since regular potatoes healed one. High quality potatoes though, now we're talking. All this more armor, we might be able to get away with actually fighting more chickens too. But worst case scenario, we can drop some potatoes on the ground. We're still getting the botany and cooking experience out of all this, so it's still worthwhile. Because my goodness do we still need more botany levels for the princess quest. Looking a lot better in our possibly full armor. We don't have any boots or capes or anything like that. I don't think I've seen anybody with that, so we're probably fine. And most raw produce can't really sell for anything either, so that's not an issue. Low quality potato. And also while we sit here harvesting and then cooking potatoes, our health is naturally regenerating, which is also nice. One low. It's gotta be a full inventory. Can't be having that. Plus we're probably gonna burn a whole pile of these anyways, so it's okay. Check our stats here. Our cooking is six, so you would think we could do okay. And you would think wrong. You would think wrong. Regular potato. You could almost make the roast vegetable medley. Onion, carrot, potato, and likely a plate. But we don't have the level here yet. Five XP per potato. Very good. Slowly but surely making our way there. We got low quality potato. Burning things horribly. We do still get experience for burning it horribly. At least it's something. And the high quality potatoes. Let's see if we get any high quality baked potatoes. We got low quality. And another low quality. Oof. Not great. Not great. Let's pick up another scrap metal here. 
We could find just a few spawns next to each other. We'll grab a whole bunch. Slowly but surely. We will see how our current setup fares. If it gets good enough, we might be able to move on to slightly stronger enemies, too. We'd like to have more health, but the rate at which this is going up, that's going to take a long time. Also going to be relying on the equipment stats for the time being. Oh, we got piety too. There is this whole book here. Sorcery. We have a slight dampening, moist, a stiff breeze. Level six makes great hairstyles. Rock throw, barely magic, just chucking a rock, and oven touch, finery, which is where oven mitts. Rituals, we got hydration, which fills a container with water. Extract low ore, pulls a single low level ore out of a mining rock. Could just mine it, interesting. Wood chipper, turns a tree into a stump. Moisten clay, softens hard clay. Heated extraction. Can extract an iron bar directly out of an iron vein. We have blessings, which don't exist. Very much a work in progress here. Eating the potatoes doesn't do anything since we are full health. are level 1. So we're getting 2.8 XP now. And everything. Was it 3.5 earlier? Interesting. Wait, we're absolutely destroying the chickens. I think we still need chicken for our best chance at butchery stuff. And they still can do damage. So it's not a free ride here. Just a little more tanky than we were before. Probably just worth healing up to full, basically. No reason to chance death by chicken again. Can't be having that. Yeah, combat level. Combat level is four. Okay. That's pretty good. Make some inventory space. Definitely feel like we're taking less damage, which would obviously make sense. I think we'll probably be able to do a actual full inventory this time. How cool is that? Let's see if we get anything whatsoever from the butchery section. We were not doing so good the last time. Oh yeah. Destroying these chickens. Love to see it. I guess. That's a slightly bold statement, I suppose. It's working, though. Hopefully we can actually get some chicken to Get us ready for the next set of fighting we're gonna do. That chicken actually did some damage. Not a lot. Not a lot. Enough to know that it happened, though, I suppose. Right, one more inventory space. Having a hard
hard time with this one. And the last one of these. Yeah, the scrap ball here has not respawned yet. Got to see what the cheapest available upgrade we still have is. If it's only two, we could grab the one over by the main town square here. Get that. I'm sure we'll have plenty of inventory space once we fail to butcher all these chickens. That's not gonna be the problem. Alright. Departed chicken. Starting off strong, actually getting some chicken. And we've stopped. Got some sinew. We're actually doing alright this time. Would be nice to get all this at the same time, but this is fine. Mostly low quality chicken dough, too, so that's not great. It's a start, though. Yeah, that one looks like it gave two chickens. Two chickens out of one chicken? Suspect. Very suspect. Not gonna complain about it, though. I'm, I'm not gonna count my chickens until they're butchered, apparently. Take that scrap metal. The helmet is... The helmet and shield are still at plus zero. So it might be just two. Likely three, though. But we'll see. Um, let's see here. Oh, we can upgrade the shield. Here we go. I'll take it. It doesn't look like this costs any money either, which is nice. Just the scrap metal. I can work with that. We got fully upgraded sword, almost full, plus one, whatever these are, a modified tin, and a wagon wheel cap, worn out, everything. More cooking. The better all our stats, the more likely we will not fail or make better stuff. Possibly. So I will take it. As this was much more successful than the first attempt at an inventory of chicken. I'm gonna go see these slimes. They're around. Some right here. Is there any other ones? A lot of farm rabbits. There's level three. If some drops, there's that weird mystery dock again. Can't chop a tree, don't have that. Cows here, those are level 8 though. That's probably a bit rich for me at this point. Let's go this way, so it's over here. Got a big rock. Double tip the rock. There are many gates around here. There's the huntsman. And foxes. Okay. I got spooky woods over here. Oh, that's probably not somewhere we want to be. Orange fox level 16. Yep. That's a bit rich. There's some money in the forest. Can I successfully go pick up this money? Without dying immediately? Get a good look at the orange foxes in here. Please don't walk through the trees and murder me. <laughs> Would not appreciate. 
That would be mildly inconvenient. To put it lightly. That's just a bucket. I was hoping you were going to be helpful. Well, six rats. There's a low-quality low bronze hatchet. And scrap metal. Alright. Are rats aggressive? Do we want to find out? I would like this hatchet. Right, I would also like that scrap metal. We play a dangerous game here. Can we sneak in and grab this? It's like a solid... Yes, we can. Score. Tree stump. And there's scrap metal. A sitting skeleton. Relaxed, yet dead. Hmm. A lot of scrap metal over here. Treasure trove. See down here below, there's a monstrous spider. Another building. More scrap metal. Oh wow, this, this, is a, this is a great direction to go. All sorts of good stuff. We're gonna get our upgrades here, no problem. A tomato bush. Okay. Can grab the scrap from in here again. That's six scrap. And those ones right there on the ridge there, those weren't even guarded by anything. Very good. I have to find somebody that's going to upgrade bronze. Because that will determine whether or not we want to continue picking up scrap metal. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. probably end up making better than a low-quality bronze hatchet at some point. But for now, it's definitely an idea. Hat is the only one that hasn't been upgraded. So we'll probably want to put the most scrap in to upgrade as possible. Like, upgrade the chain body again. Plus two. All the slimes. There, might, there should be some more slime somewhere. Now here we have more rats. I feel like anything lowest level is going to be closest to spawn area. Level 12 goblins over there. That's not what we want. We need, to, we need to just stay over here for a little bit. I would go into that forest, but... Monstrous things live in here. I'll risk it for the scrap metal, though. I think we should be far enough away from the mega chicken. We should be okay. Yeah. Mega chicken's currently in combat, so we are safe. Safe-ish, at least. Any more slimes? I do want to see their drop table? Could have some interesting stuff. Not sure how it's moving, but it's ready to fight. All right, give it a shot. How much health do you have? Ow! Five. Not too accurate. Not too accurate against these guys. They dropped coins. Ooh. I'll take some coins. Don't have many of those yet. And some low quality dried apricots. 
think we've had that before. Have to see what we can do with an apricot. Or we could just die. That's also an option. Dried cherries? Can't eat that. Tried to use a thing on a thing, didn't do anything. A water card. Save that from which start training with magical stuff. These seem to have a more interesting draft table, all things considered. Do not put our, no, our helmet is on. Wow, that was, that was like seven coins right there. Very nice. I think we'll finish up the inventory of chicken here. Let's see what we can get. experience with these. 4.8. We got an entire pineapple. That's level 3. In all stats. Very good. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a while before we have 11 health here. We are quite the ways away. Oh, they dropped scrap metal even. Nice. These definitely seem to be the more interesting creature to fight. And a cucumber. These have dropped all sorts of things. Few more here. Then we can go see what all this fruit can possibly do. Wood slivers. You can make that. Get a lot of different things. I've taken damage. I'm gonna go continue picking up scrap metal. Doing a full round of that. Try to get all the upgrades here, if possible. Let's see what we can do with pineapple, cucumber, apricots. I don't think we really need wood slivers. has been whittled into tiny pieces. Pretty sure we can just do that ourselves. I think this one's back yet. That's three. Maybe I'll upgrade something here. Um, yes. Upgrade the helmet. We're gonna try the cooking station and then the prep table. We've not gone to cucumbers yet. That is the next thing in botany that we would unlock. But then apricots, cherries, and pineapples. That's a whole separate thing. Tasty fruit cake, level 58. High quality, we need dough, raisins, dried apples, cherries. That's also what the cherries are for. Cucumbers for nothing. Pineapples for nothing. Level 58 recipe. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Amazing. I'm just gonna drop the wood. We, we can make that. It's fine.
Grab this. card that we have. I'm not going to be doing much evocation for quite some time. No space with that. With that. Cucumbers can make a small salad along with lettuce and corn. Corn is seven botany though, so we wouldn't be able to make that quite yet. And pineapple is nothing. Hmm. Weird. So that's pineapples and peas, which both seemingly don't have much use. Might need to process them somehow before we can really get to it. I'm still worried that these rats are going to be aggressive. Just seems like a thing that would happen, you know? Tiny disease carrier. Doesn't look to be scrap metals back here yet, either. That's unfortunate. That's scrap metal. So over here by the sitting skeleton. Slightly concerning. There's all 22 bandit. Oh boy. We are playing with death here. There's a singular coin over there. No. Look at these spiders. Oh no. Oh no. We could wait around for the scrap to respawn again. I don't want to fight anything while we wait. We could just we could do a little, tiny bit of botany. Oh, it's coming back. All right. Yeah, there is a there's a certain respawn time on this. That's fine. It takes a few rounds. You get everything you need. In and out. Easy adventure. Just want this one here. Take this path back. Pick that all up. We need, looks like, three more upgrades in total. So I don't think this is going to be enough for everything. Well, it'll be a start. Or a continuation, I suppose. Then we're just going to try to sell these and one of these to the store. Let's see if we get any coins for that. Violet flowers. Not really useful. Awesome. Definitely need an actual money-making method be useful here. It feels like maybe maybe the slimes were the best we can get at this point. Because they actually dropped coins. Get our stats up a little bit higher. Maybe move on to some other creatures. Like rats. Some ores down there. And climb down the hill right that. Here's some more slimes. There we go. They're down they're down below. Let me just keep rock walking this way. Yep, green slime. Oh, let's do. Perfect. What do we got slightly to the south here? Low quality bronze sickle. We already have one of those. Wild chickens, which didn't seem to be aggressive. Last I checked. Last I walked right next to one, didn't immediately die. So I will assume that continues to be the case. I'm just 
guy over here is fighting the mega chicken. Do I dare wander forth into the mega chicken's lair? I dare. Worst that could happen is instant death. And for this much scrap metal, worth it. N not instant death, but the effort, I suppose. So I'm gonna keep one of these low quality hatchets. I don't have a usable hatchet. Yeah, grab the scrap metal out of this chest. Or out from under the chest, depending on how you want to look at it. That's a nice pile. Very good. Ten more. Probably gonna be close. I don't think we're gonna have quite enough for full upgrades. Ten, we need thirteen. Upgrade the helmet. Upgrade the legs. Now all that's left is Wagon Wheel 2, three more scrap metal. That's totally doable. Totally doable. Just kind of wander around a bit, we could probably find three more, honestly. But I want to try to sell some stuff here. I want to keep this one hatchet at least. Let's see what we can sell here. Yeah, these are all fairly cheap. So one, one sickle, all these. Two each for that's not bad. Another apricot. Keep one of the hatchets, I decided. Feathers sell for zero. I need that. Okay. Well, let's head up to the bank here. Put some stuff away. This seems to be a decent setup for doing combat. It does take some inventory space, but that's just how it works. That's okay. I've done a little bit of combat. Got a little bit of money. So I've not done any ranged, really. Maybe something we do. It was just sorcery. Sorcery evocation. Survival. Have zero XP. Very much work in progress. Low quality iron. Wow. Recipe. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Right, bank with the banker. These cash stack is up to 34. Amazing. Got various bits and bobs. I think I want to go do some exploring. See how far we can get before obvious problems stop us. And so to do that. We want to not be risking anything. There's many paths that we can take that will get us further afield. I'm sure we will be stopped on all of them. Next time. Goodbye.